Today in this lecture, I would like to go back and look over slopes just a little bit more. This time, I'd like us to look at it when two points are given, and then we find what the slope is from those two points. So I have a few of them up here. I'd like you to give it a try. Remember that we're going to be doing rise over run. So what I tell my students is to find one of these points, it doesn't matter which one, and let's do the rise first. Let's do the up or the down first. Because if you do the up and down first, you're going to put it on top. A common mistake that students make would be that they will start on a particular dot and they'll go left or right. They'll put that number on top, which is in fact the run and not the rise. So let's make sure that we get in a habit of going north or south first. Then we'll go east and west and get the run. All right, let's take a look at the first one. Uh, some, uh, let's just say we start right here. I'll do it both ways. I want you to travel up north until you get even so we can make a turn and head toward this dot. So from this location, I'm going to go up one, two, three, four. That's going to be my rise. So, so far we have four. And then from this point, I'm going to take a right turn, which is positive, And that would be one, two. So the slope of this line is four over two. It can also be reduced to two over one, but it can also be something else. Let's say that I decided that I wanted to start with this um, upper right dot. This time I'm going to go down first because that's my rise. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, and move over two to the left. So I went down four, excuse me, down four, and to the left two. Well, a negative 4 over a negative 2 is the same as 4 over 2, which is the same as 2 over 1. So any of those would be uh, a perfectly good answer, okay? All right, let's try this one right here. Let's start, because I'm left-handed, I seem to start with the left-hand side. I'm going to start at this location, and I'm going to travel north until I get even with this dot. Here we go. 1, 2, 3. I'm just going to mark that spot. So that is my rise, so that would be 3. And now the run, going to the right is positive. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 3 over 6 is the rise over run, which is the slope. It can be reduced to 1 half. Now let's go the other direction. If you want to start this time and go down, which is negative, and to the left negative, we can do that. We'll start here and we'll go down 1, 2, 3 and then come toward me, which is the left, one, two, three, four, five, six. That was a negative three, negative six, but two negatives make a positive. So any of those would be perfectly good answers, okay? All right, let's try the next one. On this one, I'm going to start with the bottom left, but it doesn't really matter. I'll start here. I'm going to travel up. Looks like I'm going to travel up two. That's up. That's going to be positive. 1, 2, and now I'm going to turn and go right, which is also positive, 1, 2, 3. So I went up 2 and to the right 3. So the slope is 2 over 3. Or I can start at this location and go down and to the left, which would be negative and another negative. So from here we'll go down 1, 2, negative 2, and to the left, 3, 1, 2, 3, negative 3. So really, either one of those answers is correct. 2 thirds is good, but a negative 2 over negative 3 is the same thing because 2 negatives make a positive. So the slope is 2 thirds. All right, let's try this one. This looks interesting. Okay, I think I'll start right here. I'm going to travel up. That's my rise. And then I'm going to travel to the right, which is my run. So it looks like it's going to be a positive and a positive. Here we go. And a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, up 6. I'll go ahead and put that. And to the right, 1, 2, 3. We now have a 6 over 3. And a 6 over 3 can be reduced to the whole number 2. We can write 2. We can write 2 over 1. If we don't put the 1 underneath there, we know it's a 1 because every whole number has a 1 underneath it. 
All right, and let's go the other direction this time. Let's start here and go down and to the left, which is negative, negative. And one, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, negative six, negative three. Two negatives make a positive, so we're still at a positive two for slope or a two over one. Any of those would be good answers. They, all of them will work. All right, let's look at our last two. On this one, I'll start on the left bottom, and I'm going to travel up, which is positive, and to the right positive. One, two, three. So I have three on top, and a one, two, three, four to the right, three over four. Remember, count your jumps. Don't start counting from where you are. Count each jump counts as one. And let's go the other direction. I'm going to go down one, two, three, which is a negative three, and I'm going to move over to the left, one, two, three, four, which is a negative four. The two negatives still make a positive, so three over four is our slope. Okay, and let's check out our last one. Okay, I'm going to start right here. You go with me. Ready? First of all, have you noticed that this line is going uphill? Something that we need to think about before we go any further, and that's this. Before you ever figure out what the slope is, shouldn't you be looking at the line to determine if it's going uphill or downhill? Because that's going to make a difference in what the slope is. Let's back up and look just a minute. This, this line is going uphill. How do we know? We've talked about this before. As I take my pen and go across the paper, I'm hitting the bottom of the line first. So if I was going to trace the line, then I would, of course, go uphill. On this one, I'm hitting the bottom. I'm tracing uphill. On this one, hitting the bottom, tracing uphill. Bottom, tracing uphill. It looks like I've got a bunch of positive slopes all over the place here. I always look to see first, is the line a positive or a negative? Is it going uphill or downhill? Then I know if I have to have some negatives, one negative, two negatives, no negatives. All right, so on this one, we had three-fourths or three over four, or negative three over negative four. And on our last one, let's see what happens. We know it's going uphill because as my pen travels across the page, I'm hitting the bottom of the line first, and I have to trace upward. All right, so here we go. One, two, three, four and one, two, three. So this time, the rise was four, and the run was three. And now, I'll start here and move down. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. I went down four, and to the left, three. So, possible answers can be either four over three for the slope, or a negative four over a negative three. Now, you don't have to do it both ways. I just want to let you know that it doesn't really matter which, which location you start with. If you keep up with up is positive and down is negative, to the right is positive, to the left is negative, then you're going to be fine. So it doesn't really matter which dot you start on. Okay, I think this is a pretty good review over finding slope when two points are given to you. Mm -hmm.